Hello everyone, this is Bella Bella. Thanks for stopping by and in today's video, I'm gonna share with you all the fountain pens I bought. If you watch my videos before, you know that I just started using first my first Hobonichi planner. Along with many things, I, there was one thing I didn't have any, which was the fountain pen. First three fountain pens I bought, I bought them online and I'll link the website below. And it's, let me show you one by one. First one is this. This is by Pilot Kakuno. And this is by far the most affordable fountain pen. Being at definitely less than 15. I actually do like this one a lot. It does give you somewhat of scratchy feeling, but being extra fine, I do like how it writes. Is let me see. Oh, I'm almost done with the ink, and I believe I'm using the Pilot Sepia on this one which has more red than brown. Second one I got is Lamy fountain pen. And this is not Safari. This is Lamy L Sport. And the reason why I got this one instead of Safari is because I wanted to have um, metal body than plastic. This one being a little bit more pricier than Safari, um, you do get metal body, which I really like. After using this, though, um, there was a huge difference between Kakuno and Lamy. This one just comes out really wet and writes really smooth. This one is in fine knit. I think I do want to give this one a try in extra fine and medium knit. Even with fine, I feel like this one writes more like medium. And in here, I'm using Lamy, Lamy cartilage, just black. And Lamy fountain pens use their own converters and cartilages. Next fountain pen I got is this. Please be eco in limited color white and rose gold. I wouldn't say it's been 100% consistent with the ink flow, but from what I've experienced, because I've used a shimmer ink on this one before, maybe that's why it kind of blocked the flow of the ink. So I just emptied that out, um, gave this one a really good clean and rinse. And next fountain pen is not something I bought. It was a gift from my husband and it's this Mont Blanc fountain pen. And I think this is their um, classic wall, but how ink flows and how it writes is it writes like like dreamy. And last fountain pen was a gift from a friend for my birthday gift. And this is Kaweko. Ooh. Kaweko. All Sport. This is All Sport and Lamy All Sport. Hmm. Oh my god, what if I said the name wrong? Lamy. I hope not. So, I haven't used this one yet. This is in their collector's edition in gold and oh my god this is so pretty this is the first time I'm taking a close look at this fountain pen 
the color is so pretty I'm so into gold but it's really light and pen is like I don't know something about it it's very it's wow this pen is so sexy I think if I saw a guy using this one like this and signing things I'll have one of those like huh! moment but um I can't wait to try how that one writes and this one I got it in medium medium nib because I don't have any medium size nibs and I wanted to give different sizes a try to see which one I like and with that order I also got this Twizz B pink um, bottled ink and I only got one because I was able to get um, sorry it's got q-tips and everything I got the samplers of different colors if you like my video please subscribe and give me thumbs up and bye see you next time